Hey everyone, this is Nick from Quality Business Machines, and in this video we're going to show you guys how to access the fisheye controls within the new GVI software for GeoVision. So right now we have one of our fisheyes pulled up on our uh, camera page one. We're going to go ahead and make that camera go full screen by clicking on it with our finger. Now the uh, fisheye controls that are separate from all the other camera controls really start over here where we see the eyeball with 360 underneath it. We can go ahead and click on that. Now this is an in-app add-on. If you do not have the add-on, when you click on this, uh, it will prompt you to go ahead and uh, purchase that add-on. I believe it's a couple dollars. It's the only thing GeoVision um, asks in the way of in-app purchase. So once we push on that icon, it will bring up our four camera split. As you can see here, it has our source image in the top right. And then we have three windows right here uh, that we can go ahead and aim in any direction we want. We can zoom in and out. Now keep in mind that the controls are inverted uh, when you're trying to drag around the screen to point at a certain item. Uh, they're inverted controls. Um, but if you notice, our picture does not look very good. There's two things that you need to make sure you do when you're using the fisheye. One, we want to make sure our HD is turned on. And you do that just by pushing the HD icon on the left, and it'll turn blue, and that's how you know you've activated it, and uh, the picture will get a lot clearer. The second thing we need to do is go over here to our PTZ controls and go ahead and click on the circle with the three boxes around certain points of it to the right of the eyeball symbol. That brings up uh, the source image again, and you'll see this red circle. Uh, it may be a different shape or size than yours, but what this asks you to do is align the image. And what you do is you take your fingers and spread them apart or bring them together to make sure uh, the edges of your red circle meet the edges of the picture the best you can. You don't have to get 100% perfect, just try to get close. And then once you do that, just go ahead and click on the icon down at the bottom again, and now our image is aligned. Uh, if we look at the item to the right of that, we'll see the four uh, boxes. It's a box with four quadrants in it. We'll click on that icon. This basically uh, asks for the different fisheye modes we'd like to select, and it's the display in which you'll be viewing the fisheye uh, dewarped in. So if we click on the second icon, this brings up the 360 view, and if you look at the bottom image, which is stretched out, uh, that's 360 deg degree view. So where one edge ends on the left, uh, the edge of the right of the picture picks up right there. That's the entire image as if you were spinning in a circle in the room. And we have the two boxes above that we can uh, view uh, however we'd like. All we have to do is, uh, when you want to activate the controls of any of the PTZ splits, you have to make sure once you select the split to uh, go ahead and shrink the box back down by clicking on the icon again, and that will activate it. So we can go ahead and control either of these windows. We can drag left or right, zoom in and out. So we'll show you all the fisheye modes, but the uh, most functional will be the uh, PTZ option we get to uh, here in a minute. The next icon is the 180 icon. Once we've selected that, let's go ahead and push the 180 button on the bottom. This shows 180 degrees on the top and 180 degrees on the bottom, equaling the entire picture. You really can't do anything with this. You can't turn the image or anything, so it's not really useful at all. Let's click on the 180 button again and get to our PTZ control. As far as GVI, this is uh, the most functional way to view the PTZ in our opinion, or the 360 fisheye in our opinion because it has uh, one big full screen that you can do PTZ controls in. You can aim left or right. You can pinch or spread your fingers to zoom in and out and get a nice big picture. Now, if you wanted to get an even bigger image at any time while you're viewing a camera, just go ahead and click on the uh, black frame to the left or the right of the image with a little tap, and it will go ahead and bring the image up to a full-size screen. And then double tap again to bring it back down. 
Now, if we look to the right of what is now uh, PTZ in our fisheye menu, you'll see this uh, three-dimensional object of the cube. Basically, what this is telling you, if you see in the top box, uh, the, the top portion's blacked out, and if you go to the middle icon, the left of it's blacked out, and the next icon, the bottom is blacked out. It's basically asking whether your fisheye camera is mounted to the ceiling, uh, to the wall, or mounted uh, to the floor. Um, really, a fisheye each and every time is pretty much mounted to the ceiling, so make sure it's always on the top icon where the top of the box is uh, the image colored out. All right, guys, that's how you get into the uh, fisheye settings in the new GVI app for GeoVision. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.